<laughs> what, oh, um, first of all, I need all of you to lower your expectations a lot. If I, I'm just going to read a bunch of poems. Um, thank you. I hear it. <laughs> um, also, I'm very delighted to be here, etc., etc. I'm very delighted to be joined by Clarissa, and I'm very excited to be here also with my Californian family, the Vitars. They have a great restaurant called Hambones. They have the best pork chops ever. Not that I've had them, because it's haram, obviously. Um, and also, finally, congrats on uh, Little Arabia. That's also my rap name, Little Arabia. Um, okay, I'm just gonna read a bunch of poems. This poem is called, This is Why We Dance. Can you hear me okay? Is this echoing? It's fine? Okay. Okay. Home in my memory is a green, worn-out couch and my grandmother in every poem. Every jasmine picked up the backlash, every backlash picked up the tear gas, and tear gas healed with yogurt and onions, with resilience, with women chanting and drumming on pots and pans, with God dance and hasbi Allah. They were tanks, but we know stones. 2008, the Gaza bombing, my ritual of watching TV ran between the grieving and Egyptian belly dance music, and I fluctuated between hatred and adoration, stacking and hoarding their wishes, reasons to live, sometimes believing them, dipping my bread in indulgence, knowing a child is breadless in Khan Yunus, dipped in a roof's rubble. If you ask me where I'm from, it's not a one-word answer. Be prepared, seated. If hearing about a world other than yours makes you uncomfortable, drink the sea, cut off your ears, Blow another bubble to bubble your bubble in the pretense. Blow another town of bodies in the name of fear. This is why we dance. My father told me anger is a luxury we cannot afford. Be composed. Calm. Still. Laugh when they ask you. Smile when they talk. Answer them. Educate them. This is why we dance. Because screaming isn't free. Please just tell me, why is anger, even anger, a luxury to me? Thank you. أرى على أطلالنا وجوه الأحبة بترت أصابعهم من عد النكبة ديارنا الأولى شاخت بعد عمر من التشريد وعمر التشريد شبل ينكبر ابتلع القبة كان الصباح في بيتنا أمي وشمسا وتين جاء الغريب غرابا على حينا شبح الرحيل جل من خلاه حاكما في قصر الرئاسة فرس الملك مملوك اختزل الخيل بالصهيل في أول صفحة قايد بنادقنا بالدبلوماسية وعلمنا من الحروف التهذيب والحيادية فلما أتى القاتل قاتلا والصارق يسرق قالوا لغز كبير من بين الفاعل والمفتعل ضحية أنتم للسفاح معجزة العزاء 
تدم زخمنا في التضاد كيف تكره فتكره وترادف الإكراه بالطراد أنا إن كتبت قانونا حللت به البطش في الآراد وجعلت السلب سبيلا وأطعمت أطفالا للجراد وحصلت من السنابل قنابلا ومن الانفجار الاكتعاب لأقام العالم لي متحفا في التعايش ووزارات على رماد ولو لي في عقل الحق حق ولو لي في عقل الحق حق أنيابهم لا تتخذ الحق مرجعا في النفس فأنحني من شدة الأسنان بالكبد لا من شدة الحناء النفس فلو هدم البيت وتلعثمت أيامنا وسرقوا ما بعد دمائنا الزيت ما هدم فينا أحبتنا هم على أطلالنا شهداء ونحن نخيم في فم الجرافة فاهدموا ما تهدموا البيت أرض والأرض اسم والاسم ينادي صاحبه ولو غيرتم الأسماء البيت أرض والأرض اسم والاسم ينادي صاحبه ولو غيرتم الأسماء Um, this next poem is, uh, I wrote it after a person I admire really. His name is Bush. <laughs> okay. Um, Bush, shoe to the head. I've never felt pride like this. Bush, shoe to the head. Mother was in the kitchen. Saddam, Saddam, and I I should be a comedian or something. Saddam, and I handsome. Apologies wrapped in tweet. I wish a snake would swallow me. I wish the earth would split and swallow me. Bush towers astray. I don't believe in conversation or reconciliation or crowds gouging out my eyes. Millionaires giving out charity as if it's charity when cents don't make a dent. We're supposed to say thanks. They acknowledge our blood on their hands. I wish a snake would swallow me. I wish the earth would split and swallow me. Bush sits beside me on the train. I doubt veteran cites his fear of fireworks. They think they're the only ones with PTSD. We're literate in peeling off our own skin to sleep. We live like walking debris, swallow snakes, swallow whole pharmacies. Wrap our spines around the fingers of bank tellers. While Bush is at the art store, picking the perfect blue. Thank you. soccer on a beach in Gaza City on July 16, 2014. And I also dedicated to the people of the Gaza Strip um, who, are, who are never allowed the Red Sea to spread open for them, who are never allowed the kind of miracles our oppressors are allowed. No Moses in siege. 
Was it because there were no more graves in Gaza that you brought us to the beach to die? Was it because rubbling us in our homes like our cousins, like our futures, like our gods would be a bore? Was it because our cemeteries need cemeteries and our tombstones need homes? Was it because our fathers needed more grief? We were limbs in the wind, our joy breaking against the shore. Soccer in between our feet, we were soccer in between their feet. No place to run, no Moses in siege. We used stitched together, embroidered, unwalkable, indivisible, passage, implausible. On most days we weep in advance. We looked up to the clouds, got up on clouds. Here we know two suns, Earth's friends, and white phosphorus. Here we know two things, death and the few breaths before it. What do you say to children for whom the Red Sea doesn't part? What do you say to children for whom the Red Sea doesn't part? apparently in third person in pretense. I am but Jerusalem too, published by way of the remorse. Snipers to my spine, bombs, women, children, etc. My apologies for the inverted syntax. Most days I'm in psychosis, spine to my storm, bait to my rage, tired metaphors. I think identity is corny. That would have enraged me at 17. My current beliefs would have, except for the rifles. We all agree on the rifles. I am but the institution, the prestige, the watermelon. Most of that poetry is theater over thunder. Most days I'm pulling pythons off my ribs. I don't hope for much more than what my grandmother had hoped for. Most of the rest is maskhara. How do you translate maskhara? <laughs> I am but all that performance who took poets off our benches to put, put commercials for poets on our benches, who took poets off my shelves to put pills where poets once were. I will not sit on a recliner and pay $2,000 $2, an hour to make villains out of coffee stains. I go with metaphors without counting. My poems become mosaics unintentionally, messy room, habitually. I am but my love for my land, by the way. In truth, I am ashamed of my dreams. There are those who dream of seeing the ocean, Palestinian men who so grave before Bravo, the coffin before the coast. Newspaper playing commissions, the psychological effects of the occupation on the average Palestinian. But in truth, I have never once felt free. Not in Santa Monica, the American Tel Aviv. Not in New York, the American Tel Aviv. Not in Tel Aviv, the American Tel Aviv. I am but my nostalgia, my sick homesickness. What else goes into a bio? On Judgment Day, God asks your parents about you. I am but my obedience to my mother. Rudakia on me, God said it apparently. I keep my secrets to keep her sane. Not breaking cycles if that will break her heart. She's had a tough life. Those are her years to rest.
I want to read another Arabic poem, Philalawi. Um, this is actually not my writing. This is a poem by my favorite Palestinian writer, Rashid Hassan. A lot of people here know Mahmoud yes. Darwish, yes. which is fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but there are other Palestinian writers. <laughs> Myself, for example. Um, but this, this poem is called Dead by Rashid Hassan. ضد أن يجرح ثوار بلاد سنبلة ضد أن يحمل طفل أي طفل قنبلة ضد أن تدرس أختي عضلات بندقية ضد ما شئتم ولكن ما الذي يصنعه حتى نبي أو نبية حين تشرب عينيه وعينيها طيور القتلة ضد أن يصبح طفل بطلا في العاشرة ضد أن يكمل علغاما فؤاد الشجرة ضد أن تصبح أفصان بساتين مشانق ضد تحويل حياض الورد في أرضي مشانق ضد ما شئتم ولكن بعد إحراق بلادي ورفاقي وشبابي كيف لا تصبح أشعاري بنادق I like the thing, it's a prophecy. Um, so I wrote, a, I wrote a poem about it. And now I'm just killing time until I find it in the book. told me to push through. Look, listen, I was born on the 50th anniversary of the Nakba to a mother who read olives and figs and other Quranic verses. What thing was they told? My name, a bomb in a white room, a walking suspicion in an airport, choiceless politics. I was born on the 50th anniversary of the Nakba outside the hospital room, protest, burnt rubber, the fiat faces and bare bodies, stones thrown onto tanks, tanks imprinted with U.S. flags, lands smelling of tear gas, skies styled with rubber wooded bullets, a few bodies shot, dead, died, numbers in a headline, I and my sister born, birth lasts longer than death, in Palestine death is sudden, instant, constant, happens in between breaths, I was born amongst poetry, on the 50th anniversary, the liberation chants outside the hospital room, told my mother to push. This is called 
called the biggest punchline of all time, and it's literally about the biggest punchline of all time, is that Jerusalem is ours only for Palestinians, only in the White House. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I've been going around this country speaking at universities um, for the past few months because I really grew up with Shisha Bai, even though it's a little bright. Um, but I've been noticing a lot of Zionists come out of, outside of my events and protests. Um, a lot of times they have like flyers, pretty poorly designed flyers, um, and they act like I'm going to be scared of some whiny Ivy League students, um, but I'm not. Um, and it feels like there is a push to silence Palestinians in the sense that there's not only a war against us in the physical sense and the fact that we are like millions of us are besieged, millions of us are living under military occupation, but there's also a war against Palestinian political thought. We're not even allowed uh, to fantasize, we're not even allowed to speak, we're not even allowed to speak our minds. And a lot of the time we speak about humanity and Palestinians being human, but we forget that in order for you to be fully human, you must also experience feelings of rage and disdain and revenge and resistance. Um, and I always try to embrace those things because of my grandmother. Um, and this is again, $16 is bigger than price. Because of my grandmother, her dignity taught me so much about my own. And I refuse to kind of police my language to appease Zionists or their supporters. Um, In, in fact, in fact, I will say this, in fact, when they write articles about me or they make flyers about me, it does wonders for my ego. Um, <laughs> not so much for my resume, but it makes me feel good that they're scared of me. Um, so thank you for that. I recently just got my first ever ADL page. Yes. Yeah. 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 So anyway, <laughs> anyway, this is the biggest punchline of all time. Rifqa took from me my moral thoughts. If not a metaphor, they make a good base for jasmine, a good jazz for the dinner table where resolution is keeping volume lower to make room for conversations. Over the years, her fingers thin, veins like garments. Miranda's required less wandering, and Sita gave up the better moment. Sheikh on the screen babbles about relief. Not about the Sabbath, illa Faraj. Sifti, illa, not about the Sabbath, illa Faraj. Why cradle a century old woman whose punchlines are still intact? My mother is her cane. When not a metaphor, her cane is the edge of a bed or the edge of a sentence. She clings on to physics and wit. Her cane is never a stick for the elderly. She who wants new purple shrouds, who wants new clouds that blink in her hair, shall not bow her head. It's a fight. Poor I am, and my parents are screaming hospitals. Tita fell again. She's okay. Alhamdulillah. A hundred years by dropping the distance between pride and self-respect. I grew up in a circus. Tita walks fragile. She's a straight spine and theory. I got from her her hunch and her hunch. Last July, she asked how we're getting home. On our bikes, I said, laughing, you take your bike and I'll take my horse. Her punchline intact, her smirk unwavering. Teta remembers what she has to. Rifles in rice bags, belly split open. Women mistaking pillows for offspring. Men souring the street. Women whose gods no longer respond. Men emasculated by refugee status. She does not remember my grief. Unkindness is much more memorable than blood. She remembers seven decades later what martyred her homeland the first time. Political conviction sticks. Chant chandelier in her subconscious. Habibi, why are you in America? School. God bless you. Muhammad, who? Why America? Be careful. Tell them America is the reason. Tell them drink the sea. Let them ride their tallest horses. Jerusalem is ours. The biggest punchline of all time. Jerusalem is ours. The biggest punchline of all time. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you so much for this meeting. It was a pleasure to see you. Thank you, first off, for always being there. Thank you so much for your time.